is about. The Husafel stone weighs 410 pounds. That's about the size of a small car engine. And Greg Ernst has been looking forward to this event for a long time. Legend would have us believe that this stone comes from a sheep pen and was carried around a circular course. The farthest distance it was carried was about 60 meters, not by the shepherd, but by his daughter. Just imagine James Perry sitting on your chest. That's the pressure Greg is feeling at the moment. Difficulty in looking to see where he's going over the top, but the grip looks solid. He's come all the way from Canada. And I'm sure his strength will not let him down now. He's been lifting rocks since an early age. He's even got a five-year-old boy who is training, lifting rocks onto barrels. Like father, like son. He's gasping for air. And only a couple of meters to go. Not only might we see a new world record, he could be in the presence of a new legend. He's done it. Can Gary Taylor tread in Greg's footsteps? He gets off to a very fast start. He hasn't quite got his arms around the base of that rock. Little stunger there. Gary Taylor gives nothing short of his best every time he steps out and takes part of the competition. But he's finding this just a bit of a struggle now. That rock is getting lower and lower. He's past Dawson's marker and the stone goes down. Gary Taylor knows he's been in one tough competition. He's had a good three days. He's been up at the top of the leaderboard and only failed at the last minute in the plane pool. That was when he struggled. And really, it was then that he dropped out of contention. He'll be out to make amends in this very final event. One hand held high there, one low. And taking Jean-Paul's advice. Shorter, more staccato step. He's getting a good rhythm. He's looking very strong at the moment. He's past Gary Taylor's marker. A great performance, but now he's beginning to stop to try and readjust the grip. And that was a mistake. Can he go on? Come on, Harry. The crowd is shouting for him. He's slowed down, and the Husafel stone is gone. He looks on with disdain. And Jamie Reeves with his chest covered in chalk. Just to try and get a little bit of extra purchase on the Husafel stone. Lifting the stone is one thing, but actually walking 60 meters with it, just as Greg Ernst did a little while ago. That's a daunting prospect. Jamie Reeves has got all the physical equipment to do this and to do it well. In Come effect, on, what he has Come to on. do is negotiate the path, and he come has on, to go Jimmy. to the end, and then he has to turn around and start to come back again. That's what he needs if he's going to go into first place. Just look how high that stone is on his chest. That means he can't see over the top. Goes past Gary Taylor. Now he challenges Baden Horse. arms must be aching. The muscles are burning now. There goes the stone. Badenhorst is beaten. Jamie Reeves can still win the title, but it now depends on the last two competitors. The first of them is Magnus Vermagnussen. Three days of competition, and he has done really well in all the events he's competed in. He's won sixth place. All the rest have been at the top of the table. He's prepared well for this event. Sticky tape round his arms. That's going to help with the grip. Look how low he has to go to pick the Husafel stone up. This is going to go very high, I'm sure. Oh, he's got his hands clasped. That's going to be an advantage. He's the only competitor to have done that. He's found the narrowest part of the rock, and that's good news for Magnuson. He's got tremendous strength in those legs. That's going to help him. But his difficulty is seeing over the top of the stone. He's got a good rhythm. John Paul Sigmund's advice once again paying dividends. He's slowing just a little bit. He's having difficulty seeing exactly where he's going. The crowd is shouting for Magnuson to carry on. He's losing it. The Husafel stone is gone. He's behind Jamie Reeves' marker, but for the time being, he's in the lead overall. 
Well, no referees will affect Van der Paarder's concentration now. He knows exactly what he has to do. What he needs at this point is to go past Jamie Reeves, and he's assured of the title he so badly wants. And how's that for technique? Compare that with all the others, and it's appalling. He's relying on sheer brute strength and those incredibly long arms. The Husafal stone is locked into his body. The legs are moving. The arms will be aching. He's puffing away. He's going to know exactly where to drop the stone. I'm sure he's forgetting Greg Ernst from the 60 meters or so he covered. He's coming up to the marker he wants. He's looking for it, and he's got it. He finishes in fourth place in this event, but he takes the overall title. Finally, it's going to Holland! Ted forecloses his dream after doubting his ability. He's won the competition. Jamie Reeves and Magnus Fair Magnussen tie for second. Magnussen winning three individual events, and Jamie placing in the top three six times. Gary Taylor charged into fifth, and Badenhorst had a good competition as well. Ted and the father of Holland. Hold that trophy alone. The world's longest trophy of 1992.